Kevin Cachero, uh, just uh, north of Lincoln, uh, Nebraska, about 40 miles. Out here planting some soybeans today and some uh, strip-till beans. Um, been working pretty good so far. This is our first year of trying it. So uh, kind of expecting a little bit better consistency out of uh, our soybean yields. Um, you know, just trying different things, trying to make a little bit more profit. Kind of just trying something new. Of it was a uh, lack of consistency. Um, sometimes we get, you know, good year we have 80 bushel beans and then do the same thing next year, and sometimes you have 50 bushel beans and you know you just don't even know why. So we're just trying to get a little more consistency in our seed bed. Um, getting some uh, fertilizer in the ground kind of help um, some higher yielding soybeans. Let's see if that'll do the trick. Uh, we're putting down a dry product of uh, 1152 O and uh, some potassium and uh, a little bit of uh, sulfur um, right down in the strip about four or five inches below uh, the soil and um, going right on top of the strip with the planter right now and um, you know, just trying to get more consistency and try to get these beans to come up a little more even not coming through you know two inches of crust or an inch and a half of crust sure. oh for one it's just so much easier on the planter um, you know you're cutting into pretty much what seems like a you know mulched up garden right down the strip in a consistent strip um, just you know just trying to get more profit out of each acre. Sure, sure. Yeah, uh, right now we're uh, using RTK through our 2630. Um, we're running ESETs with our, uh, our John Deere planter. And um, we've got uh, some closing discs. Uh, they're called Fur Cruisers. Um, and I think that really helps with uh, this no-till, or uh, excuse me, strip-till. And um, kind of gives you a, a mulching effect and yet you're still getting a good uh, getting a good uh, seal on, on, on the on the furrow. Sure. 